Have you ever been on a long flight and wanted to sleep but couldn't? I get it, sleeping on a plane isn't the easiest thing to do, especially with all the noise and cramped spaces. Unless, of course, you're like me and fall asleep before the plane even leaves the gate. Today, I'm going to share 10 tips to help you get better sleep on a plane. Number one, book the right seat. Make a reservation on the side of the plane that coincides with the side of the bed you normally sleep on. And make it a window seat so you can rest your head against the window for support and control the amount of light that comes through. You also won't be bothered by your neighbor wanting to go to the bathroom. Another thing to keep in mind when selecting your seat is that seats near the exit rows have more leg room. And if at all possible, schedule your flight during a time when you would normally be sleeping. Number two, work out before your flight. Exercising can be the key to successfully falling asleep on the plane. So take a strenuous hike, lift weights, or participate in a yoga class before your flight. Whatever it is, just make sure it's an intense sweat session because your body will crave rest and will help you to fall asleep once you're in the air. Number three, make sure you're hydrated. Although it's recommended to keep the humidity level in your home between 30 and 50%, Airplane cabins typically have less than 20% humidity. These desert-like conditions can cause nasal passages to dry out and make sleeping difficult. The best thing to do is to stay hydrated for the entire 24 hours leading up to your flight, but not right before you board. This will keep you from falling asleep only to be startled awake by thirst or nature's call. Number four, don't drink caffeine or alcohol. Coffee drinkers should avoid caffeine because it can stay in your body for up to 14 hours, which can throw off your circadian clock and prevent you from getting some much needed sleep. And unfortunately, alcohol is not a good idea either. Even though it may initially help you to fall asleep, alcohol can cause you to wake up more often, have poorer sleep quality, and less deep sleep. You will also wake up dehydrated and groggy, making jet lag even worse. Number five, eat light. While you don't want to try to sleep on an empty stomach, eating a large meal is also not a good idea because your body will need to digest and you don't want to start that process while you're trying to sleep. Number six, take an eye mask. Eye masks block out light effectively, allowing you to disconnect from your surroundings and imagine yourself at home in the dark sleeping normally. However, not all eye masks are created equally and you shouldn't buy the cheapest you can find. Instead, you'll want something thick and comfortable that completely blocks out all the light. Number seven, carry noise canceling headphones. If you've ever been on a plane before, you know airplane noise can be really loud. Recently, I even read that it's equivalent to a vacuum running. Since you're really kind of trapped with no place to hide and it would be rude to ask the person behind you to be quiet, be sure to carry some noise canceling headphones to help block out all the noise. But instead of your favorite playlist, consider listening to pink noise. Pink noise, unlike white noise, decreases in intensity as the frequency increases, much like beach waves or a steady rainfall. For many people, pink noise helps them to fall asleep faster. Number eight, invest in a travel pillow. One of the main reasons you can't sleep on a plane is because your head isn't properly supported. Now I know neck pillows look a little awkward, but once you try them, you won't care about appearances. Just be sure to get one that supports your head and your chin as these provide the least amount of head movement, resulting in less discomfort during sleep. And be sure to tune in next week because I'll be discussing several types of travel pillows. Number nine, use your tray table. Sometimes you just have to get creative to get some sleep on a plane. If you have a hard time sleeping in a sitting position, then use your tray table. Just be sure to wipe it down first because you don't know what the person before you did on that table. Then you can put your travel pillow or a hoodie on the table and lay your head down. Now this may be a better solution for a smaller person, but it's definitely an option. Number 10, do what normally makes you sleepy. Think about what you do at home to prepare for bed. If you wash your face and brush your teeth, then doing this will trick your body into thinking it's time for sleep. Do you read? watch a movie, or listen to music. Whatever routine works for you on a daily basis will help you in these circumstances as well. Just think about what normally works and apply it to your travel experience. If you have trouble sleeping on a plane, I hope these tips will help you to get some quality sleep on your next flight so you can arrive to your destination refreshed and ready to go. 
Until next week, stay safe and remember, travel is life.